Hey everyone, welcome to part two of our video series on bucket handle meniscus tears. In this set of videos, we're going to take a look at what an actual bucket handle tear looks like during an arthroscopic surgery. Bucket handle tears are severe injuries to the knee, and they often result in disruption of the meniscus function as a shock absorber to the knee, which protects the cartilage or the articular surface of the joint. For reference, this is a normal meniscus. With the exception of some synovium, which has floated into our field of view here, the meniscus overall looks smooth. There's no tearing or displaced meniscal tissue. This video shows the actual bucket handle tear. You can see how the displaced meniscus tissue is situated between the femur and the tibia. Here, I use my arthroscopic probe to push the meniscus back into position, but you can see how unstable this tissue really is just by watching how easily I can pull it in and out of position. Once the meniscus is placed back into the appropriate position, we can begin the repair. Here, I'm using my metal cannula to place needles through the meniscus tissue, which will be then used to shuttle the suture. After the first stitch is in place, we'll place our second needle, which will pass the remaining limb of this suture. We find the right spot on the meniscus, and then we pass the needle through the meniscus tissue and out through the knee through, in this particular case, an accessory incision to protect the neurovascular structures. The suture is then shuttled through the meniscus tissue and tightened, which secures the repair. Hopefully by watching our video series, you've been able to learn what a bucket handle meniscus tear is, how it results in disruption of the meniscus function, and what we can do to fix it.